day in Daegu at the Athletes Village. After almost two weeks in this village with athletes from 201 other countries, the bags have been packed and the journey home has begun. My happiness has, has no comparison. Having seen what the team has done and I was the captain. And I said this is the best team ever and it has actually proved to be the best team. Well, it's a large village with uh, so many thousand athletes and uh, I can say without embarrassment or exaggeration that Kenya team was really one of the best. Teamwork and discipline is what the captain says played a big role in getting the best ever result at the World Championship. The Kenya team emerged top in Africa and third in the world with an impressive seven gold, six silver and four bronze medals. The Kenyan ambassador to Korea Ngo Vikitao has been with the team throughout and he is a proud man after Kenya's rise among the best. Well, the athletes came on, they were very tired and there were very many and they had to move by bus and from Seoul to Daegu is uh, four hours. Notwithstanding, the athletes have been able to settle down and just themselves and compete against the superpowers. It was a kind of tough and very difficult job, but at the same time I really had a great time with Kenyan team and I feel like I'm a Kenyan now. The journey started Tuesday afternoon in Daegu and will end Wednesday midday at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi. 26 of the Kenyan athletes who took part in the Daegu Games will not be getting back home straight as they go to Europe for the remainder of the season. The only medalists expected are Bremen Kipruto of the 3,000 meter steeplechase and the gold winning marathon men's team. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports in Daegu, South Korea.